Question 9 says, a steel wire in a piano has a length of 0 0.7 meters and a mass of 3.9 times 10 to the thir negative third kilograms. To what tension must this wire be stretched so that its fundamental vibration corresponds to middle C, F of C equals 261.6 hertz on the chromatic music scale? So what we have here is this piano. Um, we got this one wire in here, and we need to tune it to uh, what musicians would call middle C. The frequency that that really corresponds to is 261.6 hertz. So how tight do we have to make this thing for it to have that frequency? So it turns out we can use the the, the equation for the natural frequency of uh, string fixed at, for, for a string fixed at both ends. So if this were the natural frequency of a of a open pipe or a closed pipe or something, that would be the equation would be a little bit different. But the natural frequency for a string fixed at both ends, so the, the, the frequency, the natural frequency, is equal to the, the, um, the number of overtones, so, or you would say the number of the harmonic, divided by 2 times the length, multiplied by uh, the square root of the tension, divided by the linear density. So let's define a couple of things here. First of all, the linear density, we learned about that in the last chapter. So that is, that is the, uh, the length divided by the mass. And this n right here, this, the number of harmonics, is, it's got to be a whole number. And it turns out this is asking about the fundamental frequency. We want to stretch this thing so that the fundamental frequency is middle C. And so that would be, the, the fundamental frequency is defined as the first harmonic, so n equals 1. So n has to equal a whole number. It can equal 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth, but it has to be a whole number, and the fundamental frequency is where n equals 1. So what we want to solve here is what, what tension do we want to put this thing at? So in order to do that, we can, we can multiply by the inverse of this on both sides, and what we'll get is uh, 2L times the, the uh, frequency divided by n, so divided by 1. Uh, then we can square this, this quantity, and we'll just mark that out, and that will equal t over, t over the linear density. Then we can multiply both sides by the linear density, uh, and what we'll get is that the, the linear density times 2 times L times the frequency over N squared equals T. So we've solved for T. So to get the, the linear density, I'm, it's, I'm sorry, earlier I said it was L over M. It's, it's actually, it's M over L. So it's kilograms per unit length. So in this case, we, we got 3.9 times 10 to the negative third divided by 0 0.7. So, so the linear density is going to equal 0 0.005 so 0 0.5571 times 2 times the length again, which is 0.7 times the frequency. So we're trying to make it so that the, re the fundamental frequency is 637. So this will be 637. This will be 0 0.7. And n will be 1. So we'll square that. We'll multiply it by this. And we will get that the tension should be 747 point three zero five four newtons and that's it